Hello traders, welcome to the channel. Today 22nd October, Nifty ends today at 24,472 and Bank Nifty at 51,257. See in our uh, previous weekend, uh, we discussed that the price most probably will uh, come lower and it may test the 24,500 to 24,450 levels. And uh, this I shared on even on October 18th that for a reversal or for a good bounce upside, the price should protect 24,480 to 500 levels. Okay, approximately 24,450 to 24,500, and today the price closed around 24,472, uh, which is within our limit. So, as per expectation, the price has been reached our important zone. If it is expanded flat like this, okay. There is a possibility that the price may reverse from here itself. So why this uncommon expanded flat? Let me explain with a reason. See, looking at this decline, okay, I doubt that this is the end of correction. It may be an initial leg of correction and uh, whatever the price pattern may happen, but this is not the end of the correction. That's my assumption. So it can be A or it can be 1. If it is A, the price should minimum retrace 25,480, approximately 25,500. That is my expectation for a wave B. That's a usual behavior. So the price not yet reached there. So what is the other pattern it may take? This is my thought process. So I expect an unusual and expanded flat. So this entire thing can be a B wave and it may take A, B and C. This is the initial thought. If this not happen, for example, if the price does not stop here, the level is between 24,500 to 24,450. As of now, the price is holding that limit. But if the price does not stop and keeps on moving normally, not with gap down, okay, not with gap down, but slightly opening flat and moving lower, we can expect a support between 24,400 to 24,350. Then this cannot be expanded flat, and all this can be a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, because I don't expect this is a B, so it can be wave 4. If it is B, the entire pattern should take a complex expanded flat. This is the assumption I have. So, primarily, if the price wants to bounce back, okay. If the price wants to bounce back minimum to this level of 25,200 plus, the price needs to be an expanded flat or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. If it is expanded flat, the price should reverse from here itself or if it is a normal 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Sometimes it is expanded flat allowed, but I am always going with the common uh, thing, not with the uh, rare patterns. So. If the price declines in a normal way, we can expect support around 24,400 to 24,350. All these levels are important for a, a decent pullback or a bounce. This is the assumption. But the price closed at a very important stage. So if the price opens tomorrow a big gap down or a gap down and a follow through decline, then all this pattern can be changed. Okay. Please understand and uh, the corrections may continue because we don't know that whether the 3 of 3 has been ended or still the 3 of 3 may proceed, right? And we are already expecting uh, one more uh, good low in Bank Nifty also. So all these are uh, background ideas and in Bank Nifty, you, you know, exactly the price reached our resistance target. So we should have a, a background idea, all these things. So expecting a low and uh, some sort of correction may happen. So these are the background ideas. So if any gap down and a follow through decline, then we need to think about some, some other uh, corrections in action. So primarily, if the price takes support here itself, we can expect a decent bounce. So everything is based on tomorrow's opening. Let's see, this is the update on uh, Nifty. And uh, if the price does not hold this level, 23,880 approximately this low, then 
there is a higher chance that three of three may over and we are in four of three which are something deeper in nature right so this is the assumption i will come back to the long term view also after uh, we are reading the bank nifty charts so this is the uh, expectation in nifty so the important levels uh, we need to watch is the exact low of today's approximately 24500 to 24450 this level is valid for expanded flat and if it price comes uh, lower okay but if the price uh, declines in slow phase or uh, making highs and low highs and low okay some uh, price action like this okay then this 24400 to 24350 can be an important support for a decent bounce the only invalid uh, is gap down and continuation in decline so this is the update on nifty see uh, this one nifty yes i not shared it this decline exactly come lower as per our expectation okay we discussed this scenario in our weekend analysis and uh, as per the expectation the price came lower right and if the price gets support here then we may expect a bounce so the price is moving as per expectation only even we analyzed this uh, levels previous week itself i shared this level in october 18th itself fine and uh, one more important thing you need to learn why i said this decline see usually more people not expected this decline because we saw a very good bounce but why the price decline see i am saying some intra market divergence levels there are very very important whatever analysis you are doing just have a intra market analysis also i will share a very clear example for you see in our weekend video we discussed both intra market divergences friday's bounce was due to bullish divergence why see this is a uh, bank nifty the price does not came below this low but if you see in uh, nifty the price came lower got it so this results in a positive divergence and the price bounced back that's why i said in bank nifty is a higher chance of moving higher okay and on the same video yesterday's uh, sorry uh, weekend video i said that while seeing this i could see a another intra market divergence that is so this is the end of uh, friday okay so bank nifty made a high but nifty not made a high so that's the reason i said that nifty has a higher chance of coming lower and may move higher you got it so whatever analysis you are doing just add the intra market divergence it's not any confirmation that is giving an advanced clue see intra market divergence as advanced clue okay that is giving a clue so because of these reasons i combined with waves and i said that uh these two things exactly a bounce in bank nifty and a low in nifty so you can see uh, exactly happen now coming back to the bank nifty see uh this pattern you cannot find anywhere in uh, classical technical analysis or whatever uh, study you have this is the complex pattern you can study only in wave theory and uh, even in this situation see understand nifty making a uh, new lows during the situation we expected if the price wants to move higher it may take complex pattern to reach these two levels even i said uh, in our previous video that slight adjust in w can reach the higher point okay but as of now the price reached our initial resistance of 52 565 this i took on 17th october itself and this is a chart see the price reaction at the exact zone of 52 565 i not change anything so the price is moving as per the expectation only see whenever the price reach the support or resistance there is always a doubt that it will uh, take another shape to reach one more higher not the same situation is happening here so we need to uh, wait for some price confirmation in nifty and bank nifty because we cannot take a decision on single chart we need to combine both nifty and bank nifty uh, and i believe i shared on post that if the price comes below 52000 there is a chance of a correction okay all these levels i mentioned 
and uh, i today shared that 51300 to 51250 is the important support zone for price to move higher or bounce and uh, below this uh, 50900 the view can be invalid see the price exactly holding our important zone so what we may expect is see the bank nifty also if tomorrow's opening is below 5900 and follow through obviously uh, then there is a higher chance of price may continue the correction okay and if the price settles here itself the price may uh, some other uh, pattern may take and move higher at least give a bounce but if the price comes below this 5900 in slow man please understand 1 2 3 3 3 and uh, and 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 maybe 4 5 like this something like this and the next bounce most probably will not touch the previous high and will uh, give a bounce and start to come back so the important thing is if the price takes support here itself there is a chance of moving higher or else the price most probably will give a bounce only and uh, it will not it may not reach new highs here okay that's the understanding here i hope you understand but in a nutshell what we can understand from nifty bank nifty is if there is no gap down please understand if there is no gap down and a follow through decline there are higher chances of giving a good bounce in coming days so this is the update on nifty and bank nifty and in longer term please have this view because in longer term uh, we discuss that there are higher chance of nifty bank to reach 49300 to 49850 right because of the single uh, drop below this point i said the reason also so you need to think about this option also because in background on medium term we expecting one more good uh, decline so we should be uh, analyzing the charts on on that view okay i'm just giving the background view also and in nifty what will happen there are a lot of confusion that whether the three of three has been ended here or not see there are chances of uh, ending three of three here or one more high but uh, there are certain levels to watch okay if the three of three has been ended here the price should come minimum below this level 23950 the low point this point 23 approximately 850 23 850 or 800 zone the price should come below this point minimum then only we can assume that the 3 of 3 has been ended here and if suppose the price comes and uh, the 4 of 3 may reach um uh, minimum 23 620 and uh, maximum there is a higher chance of 22000 also If the three of three has been ended here, but not the straight line, probably a pullback, a good a decent bounce and come lower. If the three of three has been ended, then we need to take the stance of three of three has been ended already. If the price comes below twenty three eight fifty, this low. Okay, these are the assumptions we are having now. So there are both the chances of moving higher and uh, going lower. So plan the trade accordingly and uh, coming to the small cap see since all the indices are in uh, slightly confusing that whether we are in end of way of 3 or uh, are we are ready for a good uh, decline or one more high is possible so there are some confusions in indices so for that we can take only decision based on the levels see if the price wants to move higher in this situation okay i mean new high the price should take support between two uh, levels of 17800 to 17 uh, 500 okay what is this line 17600 so these levels are very important now and uh, i believe this price uh, decline not at over the price action does not suggest that the correction has been over so possibly minimum i'm expecting Now uh, the price to reach seventeen eight hundred to seventeen six hundred. Okay, seventeen eight hundred to seventeen six hundred. But 
the price should give a bounce at least uh, one or two days bounce to upside is necessary before reaching this level 17800 to 17600 without any good bounce the price uh, declines the price may take uh, another low of 17000 to 16700 okay the next level we want to see here is uh, currently 17800 to 17600 so if the price takes support here there are chances that the price still may make one more high in the time the bank nifty and nifty also can decent uh, give a decent pullback okay these are some assumptions but if does not supports yes we have uh, both uh, the in medium term we expecting a decline so the price may start its correction so this is the update on uh, nifty bank nifty and uh, broader markets i have two charts to discuss and a uh, lot of people asked for that and before going to discuss that stocks i want to give some uh, very important information about my course see i have given a small discount see whenever uh, many subscribers many followers asked me to uh, discount ask me for a reduce in price as i said that uh, the course price is already reduced comparing to the similar courses and uh, no one is giving one year support and uh, keep on adding the uh, new videos regular updates so no one is providing this kind of support and comparing all these practical things and a lot of examples uh, everything you need uh, for early advice okay already explained in the course so i said that uh, the price is already reduced so uh, that's why i'm not giving any discount uh, but due to some other uh, fees okay not the uh, course fee other charges are slightly increasing from uh, first number so uh, i thought of giving uh, a slight discount uh, to my course and uh, that is valid until uh, 31st october due to other charges the price will increase from first uh, november so if you're really interested in registering the course use this opportunity uh, the course will not be available for this price after 31st October. So thank you. Right. So next one is, see, Reliance. See, even uh, Reliance, I said that uh, the price may give a bounce right from here or after a consolidation or one more low. Even over a weekend analysis, I said that there is a chance of the price moving sideways and then may start moving higher. So if the price gets support here itself after making a slight low, then the price may move higher this will be in line with the uh, nifty right moving higher so this also moving as per expectation and i said uh, uh, previously that all this can be one two three four and five so possibly the four can reach 2800 if the bounce comes here itself i mean after a slight low okay we said that your yes, sideways may come and moving upside and we need to see how the price reacts here but the gap down may alter the view because we are already expecting a low right that's the understanding bajaj finance uh, many are asked for this and uh, you know while sharing this uh, bajaj finance chart i don't know when i shared when it was trading around 7582 i, I think here okay 7582 maybe approximately september uh, around 15 to 20, uh, 20 during that time i shared that the price needs to cross above minimum 8200 levels for further upside so until that the price may move in a correction because uh, yes i shared that until that the price may turn to be a complex and even it can touch the lower trend line one more time this trend line see if i use the weekly chart this is the trend line okay the price has already reached i guess so the price is important zone support zone only and uh, it should not be give up okay this is a very important uh, support zone for bajaj finance yeah pull back and come lower to settle here so we already uh, reached the important zone and the view can be invalid below the support is invalid below this level of 6000 150 approximately but be prepared uh, if the price uh, with gap down comes below this zone also 6300 and if you see even uh, i shared in hourly there is a chance of one more high 
there's a chance of one more hey in hourly chart say this is the chart i shared on 22nd september and uh, you can see the hourly chart 22nd september i shared and uh, we expected support to reach this trend line and move higher and what will happen this after this ending diagonal the price should come down this is what happened okay exactly see if you are not uh, uh, confident about your wave pattern i mean see this entire uh, pattern is sideways sideways is uh, not an easy one to uh, trade okay we don't know how far the price may take sideways and how much time it takes and even sometimes if the price comes below this who knows the price may even uh, move like this okay all the pattern can be turned to be a sideways one way so it's a general advice if the price in sideways pattern or consolidation zone just avoid that stock if you're if you already holding that yes we need to wait for some confirmation but if you are giving a new entry better avoid the uh, sideways stock so as i said before yes this trend line can be important support and uh, if you check in hourly chart two three four five so yes possibly a bounce may come yes a bounce is due and uh, bounce due and come lower to touch the trend line and may price may reverse right but below this uh, zone the pattern can change and uh, yes i am not saying that a uh, trend is over okay the uptrend is still intact and i uh, i'm not seeing that the impulse has completed but these are for another uh, short term period short to medium term period the price wants us to take support here itself or else uh, it may take some other low and may start moving higher i hope you like this video see uh, don't take it as any sort of recommendations i clearly explain uh, what is the possibility that is entirely based on uh, tomorrow's opening that will mostly decide our next course of price action okay if it opens flat and uh, takes support in our uh, whatever levels we discussed in nifty bank nifty yes we possibly you can expect a bounce only below a uh, gap down below those levels we may expect a continuation in correction because we expect already we are expecting a correction in bank nifty we are discussing for a couple of weeks now so have this uh, idea in your mind so this is an update and uh, as i said before uh, don't miss the opportunity if you want to register my course the course will be available for this price only for uh, coming week so if you're really interested to register course use this opportunity and uh, register the course i will give all the details in the description and thank you and uh, if you wish to uh, get the market updates twice a week and if you're really interested to learn the elliot wave in most practical way you can subscribe my channel and share it to your friends fellow traders and families the levels mentioned here are only for uh, learning purpose and market at very important zone don't take trades based on my analysis all these levels are only for learning the waves so thank you trade safe take care we'll meet you in the weekend market update bye